Parashat Shmini, part of the joy of Torah commentary, is the ability to find in seemingly very plain, very ordinary, descriptive verses in the Torah, something really profound and quite remarkable. So this week, I want to share with you an incredible insight by Rav Moshe Feinstein on the opening two pasukim of this week's parasha. By Hebrew, Mashmini, it was on the eighth day, Korah Moshe, Aaron, and Levonov, Moshe Rabbeinu calls to Aaron and his sons and to the elders and tells Aaron, take for yourself an egel, a young bull for a sin offering and a, a ram for a, an ola offering and offer them before Hashem. What possible profound life-changing insights can one find in his opening section? Says Rav Moshe Feinstein in Drash Moshe, he asks, why on earth was Aaron told just kach, take, giving the impression that he just had to go to the animal section and grab any old animal? Surely we're already in the Pesach mode, we know when it came to the Korban Pesach, our ancient ancestors in, in Egypt had to go and find the animal four days before the Pesach sacrifice, tie it to their bedpost, check it. We, Rashi tells us we all learned it when we're children. They had to make sure the animal wasn't blemished, examine it, and we learn things from that process. Why over here, says Ras Rav Moshe Feinstein, was Aaron told, just go and take? Where's the preparation? And here Rav Moshe is something very, very beautiful. They had just finished a whole series of mitzvahs. For the previous seven days, they had built the Mishkan, taken it apart. They practiced it. It was like a, a trial run to see how it would all operate. They'd been involved in an incredible series of mitzvot. It was the day, the final day, now that they'd finally reached the moment where the Mishkan would be in use. Aaron would take up his role as the Kohen Gadol, supported by his sons, and eventually the other Kohenim would support over the, the, the years and the months ahead and into the Bet HaMikdash, one day in the Temple times. Hashem didn't tell him don't take earlier but right now after you've completed one series of mitzvot straight away don't think oh phew I'm done now I can chill I've done all those obligations I've ticked all the boxes now I'm free to just relax kick back and do whatever I want no Tekev, straight away. You have to find another mitzvah to do straight away. And that should be our attitude, the way we live our Jewish lives. Not to consider it a burden and an oppression that we can't wait to get rid of, but immediately. Now, if we communicate that aggravation, that, that frustration, that heaviness, then God forbid our children are going to pick that up and they're going to think, oh, who can be bothered for this? I can't be bothered for the obligation. I can't be bothered for the emotional anguish that it brings, the heaviness. I'd rather not be bothered at all. Forget about it. We have to communicate. You've done a mitzvah? Kach! Straight away, grab another mitzvah. The other thing he asks is, why Karam Moshe? Karam Moshe la Aaron. Why was Moshe calling Aaron? They were all there. They were all in the Mishkan. They were all hanging out together. He says, because you've got to look at each one as a new opportunity. Every mitzvah that Hashem commands us it deserves a new calling, a new focus, a new meditation. Experience it. Experience the joy of being called upon to connect with Hashem. Mitzvah from the Understanding from the expression of tzavta with the tzadi to connect to each other. See, every mitzvah is an opportunity to further one's relationship with Hashem and with the Jewish people. And therefore, hear that calling every time. It shouldn't just be, oi, come and do something else as an extension of what you've done before. And they all sort of lose their individual identity and blur into a mass of duty. Each mitzvah is special, each mitzvah in its time. And that's the key word for this Shabbat, Parshat HaChodesh, to fill our time with the joy of mitzvah performance, with the joy of building a relationship with Hashem, and to make sure each mitzvah is done in its own time and to experience the opportunity that time gives us to connect with Hashem and the Jewish people. Shabbat Shalom.